Okay, here we go. The kit's gonna include four stainless steel screws, fender washers, locking nuts, two end protectors, um, two edge guards, and two straps. Um, both of these straps have the length the exact same. It works for both. That way you don't have to figure out which one's which. Um, these are 3D printed ABS. So they'll withstand the heat of the summer. And and two of these plastic squares. This is the only thing you're going to need to do this project. You're going to need your own drill. Borrow that from someone if you don't have one. And you're going to need a wrench that fits the nut on the end of this. Currently it's a strange size. It's a, well, 9 millimeter. That's easy. And a oh, Phillips screwdriver. All right, now I'm going to hand this to my son to be the cameraman for the rest of this. All right, first you're going to set these two here. And then... Okay, so like I said, it's going to include a drill bit. It'll be the correct size for this. Put in your drill. We're going to want to line this tube up with the back. And if you look at the top here, right where this curve starts to go around, we're going to put that curve right there on the edge. Then I'm just going to go ahead and drill right in the middle of this. Didn't take very long. Aluminum. Until you get to some straight. And there's the second part. Uh, now double check, make sure everything didn't move before I drill through that plastic. Through the plastic. Now we're gonna use the screws here. One washer on this side. Go through that hole. Okay, so we're gonna go. One wash on the one side, all the way through. Wash on the bottom and the, and the nut on the bottom also. Hold in a second here, let him. Okay, you can get a view down there if you want. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my ratchet. You can use an open wrench too. So this one's nine millimeters. Tighten it down on there. The other one's a self-locking nut, so it's not going to vibrate it back off. These are stainless steel, so they're not going to rust. Now we're going to go ahead and, if you look straight down here, we're going to line this up so it's perfectly straight. Remember I said keep that little curve hanging off the edge there? That way you're not right up against the edge of it. And then we're going to do another hole right here. We got that one drilled, and the same thing, we're going to put a washer on both sides and a nut on the other side, and we're going to do the exact same thing for the other side. Like right. right, I said, the other side's the same thing. And you want to make sure you got, you got that screw in first before you do this one so everything doesn't sort of slide around. Okay guys, I just want to... I. I'm going to clip in where I drilled all these holes, the video, but don't follow it exactly as far as that video because I, I tell you to put this hole right in the middle of these two and there's a, you do not want it so that this screw ends up underneath of this edge guard here. So this screw, I'm going to go ahead and re-drill it and put it back here because um, when it's underneath there, you tighten this down, it's going to end up cracking this protector. So it cannot be located underneath where this is going to be. You know, I can tell by looking straight down that my strap's going to go across this way. So my edge guard's going to be right in here. So I'm going to have to put the screw back here. So just, you know, it's this is going to be pretty much universal for all jet ski installations. You know, that have a that have a hook in the back where you can connect this to. And um you're just gonna, the only difference between the installations is how high you need this to be here. 
I don't know. But just take in consideration where you're going to put these two screws at. And, the, and go ahead and even though this tube is two feet long, you'll see it's only touching in one spot. You might think, hey, I'll just make a short piece that's going to be right here. It's not going to be as strong as if you're using the full length. So use the full length of that tubing. It's going to make it stronger even though it's only touching in one spot. All right. Okay, here we go. Now I um, took that screw and moved it back to here so it's not underneath this. We're all set. Okay, so this is the most complicated part to it, I guess. When you get done, both of these hooks will be facing this way. This is just the strap, and it goes all the way through. Can you zoom out for this? Zoom out on the whole thing? It goes all the way through both sides, right? So you're going to have to actually... Now you can go down here. You, you can hook this around that, that way. And... That's going to come around. This one here is the other handle. And that one's going to hook this way. So now I'll show you what it looks like when it gets... When this gets into here, this one you want it to come onto the outside of that. Just like that. That hook's going to go on the outside of that. This hook's going to come up here from the outside and hook through this and it'll go inside of there so see how we got that now if I pull them both tight you'll kind of get an idea how it looks all right now okay now this one goes around here and this is where you're gonna another difficult part I guess you're doing it with your hands between here you're gonna hook this to your other ratchet end and then start tightening it down. I would tighten it just a little bit and then check and make sure that everything's in the right place. And go ahead and finish tightening it. Okay. Now you just, when you tighten it up this time, it's almost like, like a hook to a trailer hitch. It's, it's right on there. It can swivel around a little bit, but it's pretty solid. And that's one more strap here. You're gonna, now, every jet ski's gonna have hooks somewhere in the back. This particular GTI, I like to hook it like that. And I run it over the top, and then hook it down on the other side. The same way. You're gonna run it like that. Then we're just going to clamp it on. But you'll see that if I did it like this, there's nothing to protect this edge here. Go ahead and show this. That's what these edge guards are for. You're going to take these and put them on here. They pretty much snap right down on there. Okay. Now you can go ahead and tighten it on. You, once you put these on, they'll stay on there. You don't even have to take them off and on every time. And just tighten that on. You're going to see we're going to be very solid. Make sure it's as straight as you want it. Tighten that down. You can see I'm like shaking the whole trailer. This thing ain't going anywhere. Very easy installation there. Oh, you see I made a mistake back here. See how the strap's going down here? I want this strap to go around the side there. There we go. That's better. And that'll do it. So, head to eBay. $50. Um, I'll, I'll explain this carrier here. It's $80 at Harbor Freight, or $85, sorry. Um, you can always go online and find a 20% off coupon for Harbor Freight. That'll bring you down to uh, $70. Or you can just go to Amazon, and I have Prime. It's next day, $65, free shipping. And if you don't have Prime, I'm sure it's still $65, free shipping, but it's 